What's up carnivores? Zach here with American Smoke. And today we're gonna be cooking some classic grilled wings. We're not gonna be using anything fancy. We're gonna be doing it bare bones on the good old fashioned char griller barbecue grill. Millions of people have got one. I'll be willing to bet that you're one of them. If you're not, you're gonna learn how to do it today. But if you got one, we're gonna be showing you all the tricks that you need to know to cook world-class wings on your char griller. So first thing that you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you have got a chimney or pile your charcoal up into a pile, either one. I use a chimney, highly recommend the chimney, highly recommend the chimney. If you don't have one, I'll leave a link to one below. You can get one for like $20 and you'll never have to buy lighter fluid again. And lighter fluid is like six or $7 a bottle. So do the math, you will see uh, tumbleweeds and fire starters and all these different things and those are all good options for starting your fire but all I've ever used is the bag that the charcoal comes in. It's layers, it's extra dry. Eventually I end up with an extra bag that I just tear off and use and I ball it up, put it in there like that. But first thing you wanna do is get this lit. This is gonna take about 15 or 20 minutes to get going. Closer to 20 when you've got it full. If you've got one pack say two and a half pounds, only fill it up three quarters of the way. If you're going for the full five, six pounds of wings, you're gonna want this thing full. So we're gonna go ahead and give this a minute to get fired up while we're seasoning up our wings. All right, so we might not be in Kansas anymore. I don't know if y'all can see this storm brewing up behind me, but man, we gotta get these wings cooked. It's more important than lightning, it's more important than tornadoes, it's more important than anything, cause guess what? I got a rumbly in my tumbly and it's time to cook. These are still slightly frozen. They've been in the refrigerator for about two days. Pretty easy to break up. It's gonna work out to my favor as far as dismembering them. If I get struck by lightning on this video, I better get some likes, that's all I can tell you. Better give me some comments like, whoa, wow, all your hair burn off. That was crazy, something. But dinner time does not wait for the weather. It's dinner every night and some nights there's weather. And if you plan on wings all day, we don't give up. We don't surrender. We're the champions of barbecue here at American Smoke. Nothing scares us. Nothing but not having something good to eat. I'll tell you what. What you wanna do, is you wanna find one that's a little bit more thawed so I can demonstrate. And you're just gonna locate joint. Joint, cut down into that bad boy, run it right down to the joint. Like I said, frozen wings are gonna work out good for separation. If you didn't know that, meat is slippery. When it's frozen, it's much more easier to manage. We're gonna go ahead and separate the rest of these and then we'll show y'all how we're gonna season them up. There's a storm of brewing, baby. What we're using today is the barbecue general seasoning. And it's from PS Season, and they sent me some of this stuff. I done put it on wings two different times. Let me tell you something. It's good. It's good. In every sense of the word, it's good. As soon as you smell it, you know it's good. As soon as you taste it, you're thinking to yourself, where has this been all of my life? And don't be afraid of it. It's not real high on sodium. It's got a ton of flavor in it, and you want that flavor on your chicken. And so we're just gonna toss these around, try not to get struck by lightning out here. If y'all watch my videos, y'all know I ain't scared of some seasoning, so I'm gonna toss them around. So once you've got them tossed around, get them spread back out, nice and even steaming there. We're gonna hit it again. That's how you know it's gonna be good right there. That's how you know it's gonna be good. When you look at that chicken and you can't find many spots that ain't got seasoning on it, if you see a lot of spots that ain't got seasoning on it, you know what's time to do? It's time to hit them again. That right there looks pretty good to me. We're gonna give that about five or six minutes to sweat on. You can see I got fire up here at the top level of my fire chimney. Fire's coming out the top. That's a pretty good sign that it's time to dump out the coals and let them go ahead and regulate across the entire coal bed. Woo! I cannot leave you a link to this because this is a stick from a tree in my yard. If I could leave you a link, I would. I'm sure there's some good sticks on Amazon. Matter of fact, I might just go and see if I can find a stick on Amazon, just for jokes. If I can't find one and you really need a stick, I might mail you one. And so if you look at the way I got my coal spread out here, I'm going for a relatively even coal bed on the old char grill. Y'all can see I use mine a lot. It's my go-to for burgers and wings and things like that, you know, jerk chicken. Get them all spread out. Give them about five or six minutes to regulate. We're going to go ahead and put our grates on at this point in time as well. To get that heat on the grates, what I like to do is shut my grill down. Just open up the stack just a little bit. Open up the vent just a little bit. That way some air can go through. Get that heat on them grates. Bring out that oil from that seasoned cast iron. So we're going to let that go for a minute. And then we'll see y'all when we're putting the chicken on the grill. No tornado yet, but we do have winds blowing and everything. So if y'all see me uh, hanging out with the Wicked Witch of the West, you know what's done happen, okay? Find Toto, tell him to send, send him to get me. Tell him everything has done went sideways. You can see that they have sort of regulated out across there, got lit up real good. What we're gonna do now is we're just gonna get these onto the grill, just like that. 
and then it's just a matter of spreading them out good. You want to make sure and try to give them a little bit of space in between the wings. That way the heat can circulate around them. You want to get this spread out and the grill close back up pretty quick because what will happen is, is your skin, the fat will start to render out from underneath the skin and it will start a fire in your grill. And if you get a fire going in this grill with these wings on here like this, what you will have on your hands is some burn up chicken skin and don't nobody want that, not this early on. I ain't done yet. I see a couple that needs a little extra love and a tenderness from the general rub. Like I said, it's hard to over season with this stuff. Trust me, you're not gonna take a bite of it and be like, man, I wish I'd have put less of that on there. You're gonna be like, wow. All right, let's close it up before the wind takes all my heat away. Close this up pretty much 98%. I like just a little bit of something, let some smoke out. But other than that, we're going full throttle, holding the heat in there to cook them chicken wings and keep them coals from getting too hot rendering out our chicken skin and getting the fire going by burning fat. We'll be monitoring these for the next few minutes and uh, we'll see y'all here in a little bit when we flip them. For those of you that made it to this point in the video, watching me out here risking my life, there's lightning back there for crying out loud. The ones of y'all that made it to this point in the video, I wanna tell y'all about something I'm doing. I got me a jar of this general rub. If you're real curious about what it tastes like, all you gotta do is like this video, comment, and share it with somebody. Make sure to hit the notification bell as well. I'm gonna be getting a computer program that's gonna pick randomly from everyone that has liked, commented, and shared the video, and it will pick somebody random. And when I hit 5,000 subscribers, subscribers, which isn't that far away. I'm at 4,100 now. When I get to 5,000 subscribers, I'm going to be sending this to somebody. So if you'd like a chance at some free PS seasoning, the barbecue general rub, which I'm telling you is awesome. And I'll put a little letter in there from American Smoke for you. Just make sure to do those things on this video and you'll put yourself in the runnings for a can of this awesomeness right here. So as long as everything sounds okay in the char griller, I don't open this thing up to around the 10 minute mark. Everything has sounded really good. So I have not opened it. Let's check it out and see what's going on. You can tell that closing it up in the heat is really doing a good job of cooking the chicken slowly. We got blood and bone marrow coming out. It's time to go ahead and flip these over. In my professional opinion, professional being I do it and I can say the words professional opinion. I love flipping them. I love seeing that color turn over, man. And also part of the skill of cooking wings is rotation. See how that one right there is really, really got a good crisp on it. All the ones in the middle are going to be that way on my grill most of the time. So that means to me is that it's time for a little rotation. You move them over to the side and then you're going to have a hole in the middle. And what you do is you fill that in with the wings that you flip from the outsides and you get a very even cook. You locate your hot spots, you locate your cold spots, move them around. Otherwise, you're going to wind up with inconsistency in your cook. And y'all know one thing for sure that here at American Smoke, we think consistency is 100%. Key. The way that the heat comes out of this charcoal grill, the coals are all in the center, and so the things that are on the outside edge are gonna get more indirect cooking. The things that are in the middle over the coals are gonna get more direct cooking. And so you just wanna make sure that you're aware of that while you're cooking wings on your char griller. We're gonna be shutting it up for about another seven to 10 minutes, depending on how the sounds or the crackling of the wings sounds on the outside. You'll learn that. It's a skill. So at the seven or eight minute mark, after the initial flip, we're coming in and we're going to flip these again and do a little bit more intermingling from the hot zones to the cold zones. What I like to do is when I first start flipping them is I'll start moving them towards the front. I'll just flip, move, flip, move, flip, move, and then work my way to the front a little bit. That way you don't get mixed up on what has been flipped and what hasn't been flipped. So you can see most of these wings have got great color. And once they've got great color, really that's the only reason you need the direct heat. So what you can do, place all of your flats around the edges if they've got the color that you want on them, which most of mine do. And what that's gonna do is it's just gonna bake the flats. If you see one that doesn't have the color you want on it yet, you just flip that over that heat and give it a few more minutes and everything's gonna be all right. So most of my flats have got the color I want, so I'm gonna be moving those and I'm gonna be putting most of my drums more towards the middle. That way, everything works out the way that I want it to work out. Know what you're doing, have a plan, execute the plan. All the color you can see is here. Everything that needs a little more color is in the middle. We're gonna shut it down and come back to it here in just a minute. Okay, so we have uh, waited about another five or six minutes. So we went 10, seven, five, six, and we're gonna go ahead and check the temps on these things, see how they're doing. They should be getting close to done. Woo, that looks good, man. Look at that color. The color is amazing. 
They've been in here for a while, but when you look at the color, you think, man, they're done. But when you look at the temp right there, 176, which is really close, but I like mine closer to 190. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna be moving all the flats. We're gonna flip over, check our color, because these are gonna continue to cook on up a little bit after you pull them. There's a couple that I wanna have a little bit better color, but other than that, man, these are turning out and looking fantastic. And you know one thing, food can taste great and look bad and just be okay. If it tastes great and it looks great, man, you have knocked it out of the park. So always consider the appearance of your food when you're cooking it. Cause tell you something, you eat with your eyes first. Now that I've got my grill open and in the air, the heat's really gonna kick up on those coals. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna help me to get the color that I want without having to cook too much more thoroughly on the bottom side of those last drums that need it. So one thing that you'll develop as you continue to cook and as you get better at cooking is you develop an eye. Now I always say cook to temp, which is you know one of the most important things in barbecue, but experience also teaches you look. And you can look at a wing and you can tell that it's more ready than the one beside it, just based on what you see. And you can't fake that. Y'all know that I'm an Alabama fan. And if you know anything about Nick Saban, you know that one of Coach Saban's favorite sayings is, is that you can't fake experience. So anything around 190 for me, I'm pulling. The smell of that general rub is just outstanding. Highly recommend it based on smell alone. We have got a beautiful tray of wings coming together here. Couldn't be happier with the way these wings are turning out. Now that these are ready, let's just go ahead and let them cool for just a minute and then we'll taste them and see what is up with this General Rub wings, baby. We might even throw some sauce on them. I don't know, we'll see y'all in the kitchen. Okay, so I've got my Instagram photos. Uh, now let's just take a look at these beautiful wings that we've got here. Everything turned out perfect. You stick with the method that I just taught in this video where you alternate over the hot zones, you keep the grill closed, your coals are hot. When you close it down, you're getting that convection style heating, just like when you're smoking, except it's also like when you cook your wings in the oven. You're getting the convection, you're getting the direct heat, and you're getting the baking type of effect. You're checking them every once in a while, you finish up with temp, knock them out of the park, just like this right here. We're gonna just try one without anything. Oh. It's full of hot, mm. clean. Oh, that is so killer right there. It's hard to pick. I mean, look at this plate right here. My goodness gracious. This is my virgin run for you guys. I'm trying this right here. This is uh, Lane's Barbecue, one-legged chicken. I'm gonna pour a little bit of that on there. Get it nice and coated. See what's up with this one-legged chicken. I've been curious ever since I got it. Smells perfect. Oh God, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. <laughs> I made a video where I said Frank's is my go-to. Not anymore. Oh my gosh. That's like Frank's on steroids. God, that is so good. Wow, that general rub. You just eat these wings right off the grill. Don't put anything on them. You'll be so happy. Let me get you some of this one-legged chicken on there. You gonna make yourself sick. You better not cook too many like I've done. I'm gonna tell you something, I got way too many. They probably won't make it into the video, but sometime here in the next hour, I'm gonna be sitting on the couch, a miserable, a miserable. I hope y'all have enjoyed this video. I hope y'all have learned a little something about how to grill your wings. Cause for me, it's my favorite way to do wings. I love smoked wings. I love baked wings, I love fried wings. I found out today, somebody recommended to me on my, the social aspect of my YouTube channel, they recommended rotisserie basket wings, which sounds very exciting to me. I'm gonna have to get into that. This is my favorite way to do wings. i am be honest with y'all, I haven't found anything that I like a whole lot better than that general barbecue rub on these wings. It's so good. And pop it with these one-legged chicken, but you ain't got to worry about that. If you ain't got none of that, don't worry about it. If all you got is one of these wings and a little bit of ranch dressing, you're going to have a good night, son. Mm. You know it's good. You bite the chicken and the bone is shiny. If you made it through this video, don't forget to like, comment, and share the video because we're going to be giving away a bottle of the General Rub to somebody randomly once I hit 5,000 subscribers, which is coming up. Thank you to everybody that recently subscribed. I'm loving the growth. I'm loving all the love that I'm getting from you guys. Y'all are awesome. Thank you so much. Don't forget, send this video to your friends that you think might enjoy the video. It helps me out so much. I appreciate it. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comment section below. I'm fixing to tear into these wings. I can't hardly stand to talk on this video anymore. Thank y'all so much. And we'll see y'all in the next video.